Want to learn the best way to sell t-shirts online? Well, sis, stay tuned to the end of this video because I am going to give you the secret behind the scene thing that so many people don't talk about, but it's actually so effective. The secret formula for the best way to sell t-shirts online in 2020 as a Christian entrepreneur. Hey, it's your girl, Steph Rodness, founder and CEO of God the Would Grow, creator of the God the Would Grow t-shirt business accelerator. And my purpose in life is to connect you with the resources you need to achieve your purpose in life. And align with that mission, today's video is sponsored by the God the Would Grow t-shirt business accelerator, my five-day coaching program where I personally help you launch your own print-on-demand Christian t-shirt business online. The accelerator program is absolutely amazing. So click the link below to apply for the upcoming accelerator so we can meet online online sis and I can help you launch your Christian t-shirt business online step by step. Now if you're ready to learn the best way to sell t-shirts online in 2020 as a Christian entrepreneur, grab your pen and paper, you're gonna love this. So a lot of people when they're starting their, their t-shirt business online, a lot of people will spend all this time and energy and effort focusing on the perfect t-shirt design and the perfect idea and the perfect concept and the perfect website and the perfect logo and the perfect storefront and the perfect colors and the perfect fonts and the perfect brandings. And they spend months upon months upon months developing this perfect t-shirt. And then they put it out online and nobody buys it. And they're like, where do I sell my stuff? Like, how am I supposed to sell my stuff? I'm listing it on Amazon. I'm listing it on my website. I'm listing it on Etsy. I'm listing it on eBay. And I can't seem to find people to buy my shirts. I'm going to tell you why. And this, I didn't come up with myself. I got to tell you, I got to, I got to give credit where credit's due. I did hear this in grad school. The worst product with the best marketing strategy will always outperform the best product with the worst marketing strategy. And what that means is that even if you have the best t-shirt online, best design, best quality, best colors, best everything, if people don't know about it, nobody's gonna buy it. And that is true for any business, in any place, any time. If people don't know about the product, they're not going to buy it. There is this thing that we do as Christian entrepreneurs called hope marketing. We hope that because we did the hard work of creating the product and launching the business, God is going to tell people to buy our products for us. Now, there is power in the Lord blessing our marketing efforts. This is true. If you think about Rick Warren and Purpose Driven Life, that daily devotional, you remember how it like took over the Christian community with fire, man. Like everybody was doing that 30 day devotional. Pastors were introducing it to their churches. Congregations were buying it in massive loads. And this book was a huge bestseller and still is on the bestseller list. Amazing what Rick Warren did. That wasn't by accident. Rick Warren strategically positioned his book in front of fellow Christian pastors. And when the pastors found out about the book and saw how effective it was, they then took it to their congregations and so on and so forth. Rick Warren began the effort for God to bless. Now, once he did put in that work, the Lord did allow other people to keep talking about it and keep talking about it and keep talking about it until it went viral. But Rick Warren had to do the work in the first place. Had he just published the book and told nobody about it, it would still be sitting in digital dust. <laughs> We have to remember that as Christians, just because we are children of God doesn't mean we get to just say to God, do all the work and I'll do nothing. We have to give God something to bless. And that's what marketing is. In Genesis 3, 17 and 18, it says, by the sweat of our brow shall we now eat. Before sin happened, when we were in the Garden of Eden, we could reach up into that tree and eat that fruit for free and we was good. After the fall of man, after we sinned, well, sis, now... We got to find the seed, we got to dig the hole, we got to plant the seed, we got to water the seed. This is where God's work comes in because we did all that work. He is the one who has to come in and allow that seed to actually take the water and bear fruit. But if he does choose to allow it to bear fruit, we can't still do nothing. We have to go to the tree and harvest it. God is not going to take the fruit from the tree and put it into our mouths while we sit on the couch doing nothing. We have to do the harvest, which is actually the hardest part of farming itself. So 
The same thing applies to your online business. We have to do marketing in order to sell our shirts online. And there are lots of different ways that you can sell your shirts, sis. So many, I know you're in this video because you wanna know the best way to sell t-shirts online. And you wanna hear, this is the website to go sell your shirt. This is the website, the secret website, where once you list your shirt on this website, you're making sales like crazy. No, doesn't exist. Here is the best way to do marketing to sell your t-shirts online. And it's a little something called an email list. An email list is a database of people's email addresses who have consented to receive marketing messages from you. There's something called the Can Spam Act that Congress passed and that means that we have to legally get people's consent before we email them marketing messages. This is why it's not a good idea to personally be emailing people about your t-shirts and trying to get them to sell from your personal email account, okay? <laughs> you wanna be following the law. So, so the way to create this, the way to build this email list, this database of people's email addresses who have consented to receiving marketing messages from you is to first create a lead magnet, something that you give away for free in exchange for somebody's email address. And as a t-shirt business owner, that lead magnet should be something that draws people in who want to buy the kinds of shirts you want to sell. For example, if I am creating a t-shirt business for dog lovers, I'm creating a t-shirt business for dog lovers. My lead magnet could be best five t-shirts for, for dog lovers in 2020, right? And then I put the shirt and then I put a link to that person's shirt. I include my own shirt in that link. I'm giving this, this lead magnet, this list of the five best, cutest, most lovable t-shirts for dog lovers in 2020. I'm giving away that list for free. And then what I'll do is I'll use hashtags on Instagram. I'm a pet lover or I'm a dog lover. I'll go to Facebook groups where people are walking their dog or, or are sharing pictures about their dogs. I'll find accounts that feature dogs and then email them and ask them if I can sponsor a post, give it away my lead magnet for free. I'll do things like that in order to put my free list of the best five shirts for dog lovers in 2020 in front of people who are actually dog lovers. Now, when people take that lead magnet, they see your post about this free list, they actually enter in their email address on your squeeze page to get that free list. Now, this person has consented to receiving marketing messages from you and you know that they're interested in shirts for dog lovers. How amazing is that? So now what you're gonna do as you continue building this email list, you're gonna email them and say, Hey, I wanna make a new shirt for you as a dog lover. What kind of shirt would you like me to make for you? And they're gonna email you back and say, yo, I've been seeing this image of this pit bull that is so cute, all this stuff. I would love a shirt for pit bull owners because people don't make those shirts. And if you have a lot of people asking you for that kind of shirt, you'll be like, okay, I'm gonna make a print on demand shirt that features a pit bull, right? And so you'll do your design, you'll create your illustration, you'll put your print on demand shirt together, and then you'll email your list back and say, guess what I have for you? I have the pit bull shirt you have an audience of people waiting to buy it. You see what we're doing here? We are building the email list of people interested in buying our shirts, and then we are giving them the types of shirts they ask us for. And we do this over and over and over again. Now, for this to keep working, you need to continue building your email list. I've been noticing a bad habit among my fellow entrepreneurs <laughs> where they kind of get their email list to a certain point and then they stop marketing their lead magnet. You always want to be building your email list. You always want to be getting fresh leads onto your list because even if somebody, if right now your current email list maybe isn't interested in having a, a shirt with a pit bull, if you continue building your list, you may end up with 500,000 people on your list who are interested in having a shirt with a pit bull. So you wanna make sure you continue building that list, continue using social media marketing in order to get that lead magnet in front of people who are interested in it. Now, if you want my help doing any of these steps, creating your lead magnets, setting up your sales funnel, creating your squeeze page, learning email marketing, make sure you get into the God Will Grow School of Business where I show you how to do this step by step. And if you want me to personally coach you and help you launch your own t-shirt business online within five days, girl, you're like, Stephanie, just help me do this. I've been trying to do this by myself for too long. I can't do it. Get into my t-shirt business accelerator where I'm personally going to coach you over a five-day period live. It's my group coaching program. I'm going to help you launch your own print-on-demand Christian t-shirt business within five days, girl. 
Go ahead and click the link in the description box to apply for the upcoming accelerator. If you're not already subscribed to the Gather Girl YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscription button. My goal for this channel is for it to be the number one resource for every woman of faith who wants to live her greatest purpose for Christ as a Christian entrepreneur. And finally, for my girls who are like, oh my gosh, this sounds amazing but I'm not quite sure yet if it's for me, make sure you grab my free t-shirt business checklist that'll show you the steps or take you through the steps and help you stay on track while you're going through this process by clicking the link in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching and God willing, I'll see you at God the Wood Girl. Hey love, thanks so much for watching this video on my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and click the subscribe button so you can get brand new videos that God the Wood Girl releases. My mission with the God the Girl YouTube channel is for it to empower at least 5 million women of Christ to get unstuck, stop feeling frustrated, and start living God's greatest purpose for their lives. So if you want to join that movement, make sure you click the link below to join me in the God the Girl School of Purpose, where I literally teach you how to start living God's greatest purpose for your life step by step. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.